Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm back. Sorry for the um, little bit of a disappearing act, but sometimes life gets in the way. Anyway, so I'm going to try to film a few tonight. I'm way behind, and if I'm sub to you and I haven't been commenting, I apologize. Again, we'll get to that in another video. But now, on this one, I got some VCLT. Now, I didn't open it on camera, only because I already knew it was coming. I thought I would just share with you, the fine people in YouTube land, uh, what I got and who I, who gave it to me and why. Um, so we're going to do them both in one, in one video here because um, they're both small, but it's still important. But I think it's also, um, because I said I have to open it up, um, we'll go for a twofer. And uh, it's almost Tuesday where I'm at, so it'll be two for Tuesday. Anyway. So, um, Steve, Value Vinyl, hell of a channel. You know the drill, link down below. If you're not so subbed to Steve, why? He's funny. He's a good-looking grizzly bear. He's funny. He can make you laugh. Did I mention he's funny? Anyway. Um, so anyway, Steve, um, local guy in his area, I guess who owned a record shop or owns a record shop said, look, I got a bunch of stuff here that I just don't know what to do with. It's it's not really stuff that I want to put out. He didn't want to do a dollar bin. So um, he gave it to Steve and, you know, Steve did everything that he could to uh, to, to take this home with him as, as he should. But Steve's a great guy and, and he decided that he wanted to share with his friends. So um, he let everybody see what he got throw your name in a hat for a couple and he actually sent me a couple that I wanted so uh, I'm going to show those to you so this one is uh, Skinner's Best of the Rest you can see that here minus the glare um, so this one is kind of a comp of some of their kind of like stuff has been released before um, you know maybe not stuff that's strong enough to make it on the Golden Platinum or, or, or Live or stuff like that um but it's got two songs on here that I absolutely love from Skinner. Uh, working for MCA and Call Me the Breeze. Call Me the Breeze obviously is a J.J. Kale uh, cover, but still, they they make it their own. Um, so I absolutely was super stoked to get that. So thank you, Steve. And then the uh, you may you can't see him. I can see him. My cat right here, who is also named Steve. He's been on the camera before. As you can see, he's so excited. So every time I say Steve, he's like, what? Are you giving me food? This is the other one Steve sent me, and I've been wanting a copy of this for a while. Um, and this is uh, the Rolling Stones, probably their most psychedelic release, their Satanic Majesty's Request. Um, the, the big song on there was like uh, was uh, 2,000 Light Years From Home, which was the one I was most familiar with. Uh, I haven't had a chance. To, I mean, I, I gave it a quick spin. And, you know, he did warn a lot of us that these records were probably not in the best of shape. And if you saw Grail, it's, there's a reason why he wasn't selling it. And you know what? It's, a, it's an okay player copy. I'm going to be honest with you. Cover's got a little bit of wear on the sides, you know, and it's, it's, it's whatever. But you know what? This will hold me until I... Uh, can upgrade it and you know that'll be that so um so steve thank you so much your generosity um means the world to me and um i'm already working on something else for you so the other package was from um mega jeff mcrockmick yeah i'd stop and think about that one for a second hold off the tip of my tongue before i started this so, um, if you're not familiar with Jeff, Jeff is, uh, he's got a wonderful collection. Um, Jeff's actually a drummer, a drummer for, he's been a drummer for a couple of different bands, and um, one of the bands, and I don't think, yeah, you're not okay. I, for a second, I thought this wasn't recording, I was flipping out, I was like, hey, anyway. So what happens when you're off your game for a week? So anyway, um, sadly, a couple years ago, a good friend and former of former bandmate of Jeff's passed away and his wife was moving was downsizing to a different home and 
wanted to, to share his collection with, with Jeff and Jeff took ownership of it and decided that the one of the best ways to, to, to kind of honor his friend and do what was best for the collection was to share it with some of the people in the DC and I, I honestly am, am very touched that, that he sent me some stuff that I had requested um, a while back some of you may have not been subbed to me at this point I'd actually had a chance to buy a, some some pieces out of a collection uh, from a gentleman whose whose husband has passed, and at the time I felt it was worthy to honor this 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 man's husband by getting his information, and I put it with the pieces that I had collected, and I just thought it was a very small piece to kind of honor where those pieces came from and I will hold them hold on to them um, until I'm no longer here I'm the one who takes some of my records and maybe puts my name in it so um, so Jeff these will these will forever stay with me um, they're not going anywhere and um, they're, they're absolutely fantastic they're actually wonderful albums so I'm going to share them with you now um, so this one is Zebrahead um, Waste of Mind now if you're not familiar with Zebrahead that's okay because they had they had a Steve who's trying to find out what's going on. They had a very short lifespan on radio. So this is actually a promo. You can see it minus the glare. You can see it's a little punch out there. So the big hit on this one um, was a song called uh, I believe Get Back. Um, they're kind of alt alternative punk um it's, it's really hard to explain them they were just fast paced alt rock you know um I think almost like an alien ant farm that type of sound um but I saw them open up for Real Big Fish twice I saw Real Big Fish two different times two different years two different tours both times Zebra had opened up um and their their energy is just absolutely infectious on stage and if you find it on YouTube, they do a hell of a cover of Wanna Be by the Spice Girls. So go check them out. So, um, in a prior video, Vinyl Tag, I had mentioned that I really wanted to step my, get my vinyl, or get my metal game back in order. And thanks to Jeff, I was able to do just that with uh, three amazing releases from Queen's Reich. This is The Warning. Um, just a killer album. I mean, Jeff Tate, just, what can you say about Jeff Tate? He's an amazing vocalist. So you had The Warning. Another personal fave of mine, Rage for Order. Um, this was actually, this album was my introduction to Queens right way back in the day. Um, dig those outfits. Yeah. Um. So, and then this one kind of started them into their stratosphere status, Operation Mindcrime, and probably, probably my favorite. I know some people aren't as big on this as others, and that's fine, um, but to me, this is, when I think Queen's right, this is where I go, so. So, Jeff, thank you for um, really sharing those with me. Uh, I've promised you shipping, so I'm going to send that to you here shortly through PayPal, and, and I have... Um, your friend's information and I'm going to be putting a little note in there um, to kind of honor his memory so I remember where they came from so anyway folks um, sorry if it seems a little crazy and confusing on my end uh, a lot of stuff going on that's why I kind of had to take a step back for a minute so we'll get into that here in another video um, a lot of contests going on I gotta jump in those and uh, I I've actually still been buying stuff because, you know, I'm crazy. I'm an addict. And um, the only cure is more cowbell. Everybody, take care. We'll talk soon. Peace.